channel. Um, I had some paints left over from a pearl pour that I was doing and uh, I didn't want them to go to waste. And they're in these uh, tiny little cups. So I thought I'd do a cute little blowout. Um, this is a 12 by 16 and my colors that I've got um, is Payne's Gray with a little bit of Prussian Blue. I've got Deco Art Pewter. Uh, this is a mixture, it's kind of a teal green. It's a mixture of um, phthalo blue and phthalo green, both like uh, Liquitex. I have Deco Art 24 karat gold. This is a little bit of Prussian blue by itself. And I honestly cannot remember. I think this is a Deco Art metallic green. I can't remember the actual name of it. Um, I have a little bit of Liquitex uh, dioxazine purple and Artist Loft metallic white. Um, so I've already got a, a thin white base down and I'm just gonna kind of scatter these around. And I wanna start with the blues, kind of have the blues in the background. I have enough to do both sides because I never know what I'm going to have. When I do leftovers, I hope you guys are having a great day. It is Sunday here in Houston and uh, we had a, a cold front, I say that in quotation marks, cold front, come through on Friday that uh, produced a heck of a storm. <clears throat> it was almost like a hurricane. It was really windy and uh, just crazy. And then uh, it lasted for, I don't know, probably 20, 30 minutes. And then boom, it was gone and the sun was out again. And that night uh, we dropped about 20 degrees and went into the 70s where it has stayed. So I think we've been like around 59, 55 at night. Um, just been absolutely gorgeous. So it has been a thrill to be in Houston. Um, Astros lost yesterday, which is not exciting. Hopefully they'll rally. Series is 1-1, playing Boston. Um, let's see. Okay, so I put the Prussian Blue down first, and then I put the Payne's Gray, and then I put the Pewter. And next I'm gonna add some purple in there. I really do love purple, it's one of my favorite colors. But unfortunately not a whole lot of people have their homes decorated in purple. So it doesn't make sense to do a whole lot of paintings in that color, which kind of makes me sad. Oh, I missed Peter on that one. But that's okay, maybe they'll catch up, right? Um, all right, we're gonna add some green. Let's do some of that teal over here. Like I said, these were leftover paints. Um, which were mixed with uh, Liquitex pouring medium, Floetrol, and some GAC 800, and of course water. All right, this is a color from Arteza. I can't remember the name of it. It's one of the pearl oranges, and I added some copper to it.
I need to go back and put some paint right there. It's going to look too weird. I don't think I did the teal on that one either. Y'all are falling down on the job. You're not telling me what I'm missing. Just a little bit. I don't think I have any of that blue left. Do some purple. Do some teal. I think I have a little bit of the dark green left. I do, and a tiny bit of this. Um, okay, I think I'm caught up right there. I did not do the teal right there. All right, now let's add some gold. Oh, sorry. That's my needy cat. She's a Siamese and thinks she needs to be everywhere with me at all times. Well, I was nice and let her in the other day, um, as some of y'all may have seen on one of my previous videos. And uh, I got completely immersed in the, doing my video. Um, didn't notice that she wasn't at the door anymore where she was supposed to be. Uh... This is that metallic white. And I'm just gonna kind of pour it in here, maybe a tad over. Uh, so before I know it, she's over at my bookcase slash shelving uh, where I keep all my stuff. And sometimes I'll put uh, 18 ounce red solo cups with leftover paint. Um, and she had decided that the foil on top was really cool and uh, decided to play with it. And I ended up with turquoise paint all over my tarp. So I was not happy. Um, so she has once again been banned from my studio. Which is sad. If she could just behave, it'd be all right. Let's make sure there's no bubbles in here. And we're going to see what happens. edges, making sure the corners are covered. it I like it it turned out really nice with all those uh, 
different colors. Got some lacing, got some cells. Um, that is just a pleasing painting, I think. Of course, as I'm torching it, I'm thinking, hmm, what else do we need? Um, I don't know. I kind of like it. I kind of like that the center is that little group of cells. It actually turned out really cool. Let me take you down for a closer look. This corner is actually really cool. Got some good lacing there. You can see how shimmery that gold is. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. There we go. I gotta get you in the glare of the light to see the shimmer, but hey. Very nice. I'm pleased with it. This was a, uh, this was just a blowout, which you can do, you know, anytime. It doesn't have to be a typical Dutch pour. You can pour paint on your canvas and just blow it out and see what, see what happens. Ah. So I thought the camera was on, it wasn't. Um, there was just a little bit too much paint left on this canvas. It was starting to tilt a little bit. Um, so I'm, I started blowing it out again um, and I'll finish this side. Okay, that is much better. Much better. You know, sometimes it takes a couple tries to get where you're trying to go. And that's okay because it's all about the journey, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Always about the journey. All right, that one is much better. I like the movement with the white. Um, the colors are still bright, but not too bold and in your face. Um, got lacing right there, cells popping up. So let's torch this thing. Make sure there's no bubblies. I got little white spots right there. We'll just touch those. Maybe not. And uh, that's it. I promise we're done. We're really done. Okay, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Okay. So I've got it on the floor. Sitting for a little bit. This is what we've got so far. And more stuff could pop out later because it always does. See those cells in there? So pretty. See that lacing? All right, I think I'm happy with this one.